Hello to my Cancer family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. This is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of December 13th through the 19th. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my Quick Glance daily readings. Now, with this being a general reading, Cancer, some of the content will and will not resonate with you. For a private tarot card reading tailored specifically to you, my website link is listed below. So let's get into the reading. First, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Next, the Seven of Pentacles. And Major Arcana card, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Cancer. Let me get the mic closer here. All right. All right, Cancer. Well, immediately, I'm getting a message. Things are going to turn around for you. That is the strong message that's coming through. So hang in there, Cancer. Especially if you're having some challenges, some difficulties, the energy that's coming in for this week is going to change things up for you. Now, taking a look at your first card, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So here's the opportunity kicking off your reading. And I'm almost picking up like you're kind of um, like drawing a line in the sand. That kind of energy in regards to something that you've been dealing with and the Ace of Pentacles, this is now like a new healthy beginning. Possibly you're seeing things in a different light now and you're planting the seeds for the future. This is a very grounded energy coming in. So it's something that's very solid, your foundation, something that you can build on going from here, starting with this opportunity. Now, this card is showing a beautiful depiction of the Ace of Pentacles, where it's resting upon a stack of stones and flowers are just blossoming all around the pentacle. And there's berries just extending down onto the stack of stones. That's indicating abundance coming in. The berries are fruitfulness. And there is a butterfly. And that's your transformation. So there is something that you're focused on that has this transformative energy. What I was picking up, that things are going to be changing for you. So this pentacle brings with it the gift of luck, possibly an opportunity for material gain or for improved health. And this could be for you or someone around you as you are connected to this person. So this is a very solid and grounded energy, something that's practical, dependable. And certainly this is the seed of good things to come. So use this energy coming in this week to draw like that line in the sand as that was my vision. So essentially you could do that in your mind or actually make the gesture. And this can be in regards to what you're focused on, what you're going to be focusing on. You could be starting a new project. It could be a new exercise program or that you're going to have a healthier lifestyle it can even be some sort of form of investment financially. But this is a wonderful energy, Cancer, as you have the opportunity to grow something spectacular. Now also, when the Ace of Pentacles shows up, it can present like the arrival of some unexpected money or material item. The aces present the opportunity. You have to take action in order for it to come to fruition. 
And we can really see in the background here, let me see if I can pull this in. We see the individual there in the background. It's almost like calling to you, Cancer, to pass through the gates. Go through the gates. That's new paths, a new opening for you. So let's pull a clarifying card. See if we can get any additional information, but this is a wonderful way to start your reading for the week ahead. You have the Four of Cups. Well, definitely the Four of Cups with this number four energy could have been where you were stuck. Maybe thinking in a certain way or looking at something a certain way. But I feel that this is now like a breakthrough for you, Cancer. So taking a look at your next card, you have the Seven of Pentacles which is an indication of what you're focused on. This could be your project, maybe what you do for a living, maybe a hobby, a business. Your focus, Seven of Pentacles, is, it's kind of like, you know, whatever you're focused on right now, whatever you've been working on or tending to, making it grow, Seven of excuse me, <clears throat> the seven of pentacles can be referring to your job, your money, your finances. It can be your family, your friends, relationships. It could be a project or a hobby that you're working on. But this is kind of an assessment. And that's why I think your luck is changing because you're looking at it like in a different way. You're coming up with strategies, ideas on how you can make your life better as well. And also for those around you, Cancer. So here you're kind of just standing back and seeing if you're still on the correct path that you want to go in. And it's a good time if things aren't going the way you want whether it's a job or a relationship, your project, whatever it is, Cancer, you have time to make some adjustments this week. So if this is in regards to relationships, maybe someone you're seeing, your partner, you might want to assess if things are working out the way you want them to and whether you should continue investing in the relationship or have it come to a close. Seek out something new. Now, in regards to your job, if you're not happy with your job, change it. Look for something else. Think outside the box. Write down what it is you want in regards to a job or what you're doing for a living, how you're making your money, whether it be that maybe you own your home-based business or it could be working for a company, but working from home. Write down exactly what it is you're looking for. Set your intentions out into the universe. Now for others, the Seven of Pentacles is turning up as a form of evaluation. Someone might be looking at your work at this time. And that can be for various reasons as we're getting towards the end of the year where there can be performance appraisals. Just something that companies do in regards to figuring out how much of a pay increase you might get for the year ahead. So that could be coming into play here as well. But this seven energy here is dealing with things that are not in your control, but it's how you respond to them. So let's pull a clarifying card for the seven of pentacles. Let's see what other information we get. And really, Take notice here of the moon in the background. The moon represents things working behind the scenes, Cancer. Maybe things that are not so apparent to you right now. Okay, the Seven of Wands. That's a direct indication that you're in a better place than you think. And yes, all these wands down here are what you're up against. But you've got the advantage here, Cancer, and that's all that's important. 
And again, you've got this seven energy. So it's things you can't control. So it's your response to those things that are going to like make or break the situation at hand. It seems to be a recurring message. Looking at your next card, you have the major kind of card, the Wheel of Fortune. This is where the change is rolling in. Now, when the major arcana cards show up, it's kind of a big change, a life event, you might say. So the wheel is turning in your favor. You see the three fates here. They determine how your life goes. But this is about taking action for what you want. This is change coming in, movement. This is your destiny, good luck, expansion. So, so many different directions you could be headed. But one thing for sure, change is coming in. And you don't always have control over what life sets in your path, but it's how you respond that seems to be where your luck is really changing. Maybe you're seeing things differently, and now you're going to be able to benefit from that. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is also a reminder not to try to control everything. So when things are spinning out of control for you, Cancer, remind yourself to just get centered and grounded. So definitely, we have for good fortune coming in, change for the better. This is the number 10 energy where something has come to an end maybe a difficulty, a challenge, and then reducing it down to one, your luck is changing. You're going to have a new beginning. And that's very apparent here with the Ace of Pentacles. So I really love your bookend cards here. The Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, opportunity coming in, and your luck is changing. It's in regards to whatever this Seven of Pentacles represents to you. So let's pull a clarifying card. For this Wheel of Fortune, although it speaks for itself. But we can always get more information from the cards. Okay. Uh, Major Arcana card, the Tower. Now, most people view the tower as bad luck or something coming in, but no, the tower is just getting struck at the very top of the tower. It's leaving everything else intact. The lightning here represents divine intervention. So it could be that you might have been spinning your wheels and kind of going like in circles, but now, yeah, your luck is changing. So something could be happening this week that's going to be to your benefit and to give you maybe um, just a, an example. For instance, let's say you happen to lose your job for whatever reason, whether it's seasonal job or your company's downsizing or for whatever reason, and this is just an example, you lose your job. So it makes you polish up your resume, you start networking, and what you end up finding is that blessing in disguise from you losing your job because this will be something that will be absolutely wonderful. So the tower coming in as a clarifier for your Wheel of Fortune card is that this change comes in, and it could have already happened, Cancer, usually out of a difficulty, you get clarity. And then once again, this number 16 of the tower card reduces to seven. So you're dealing with that number seven energy this week, Cancer, where it's things that you have no control over that are happening, but how you respond to it is how you will benefit. So your cards here are all very much in sync with one another. Now your numerology here for your three tarot cards is number 18 which reduces to nine. Nine is pretty much completion, but it's kind of also an energy of time to review. Kind of ties directly into your Seven of Pentacles card, 
because whatever you're focused on, whatever is of the utmost importance to you right now, that seven energy means there's something there that maybe you can't specifically control, but how you respond to it is what's changing for you, giving you better luck in handling it and also for your future. Now, let's take a look at your last tarot card here, which is more like kind of pulling all this tarot cards together. And you received the major Arcana card, the star. Look at this. And she's reaching for that transformation. I love this card. This is kind of like your overall energy for what this is here. So definitely a card of optimism, renewal, hope. And the star usually shows up after the tarot, the, excuse me, the tower card. There's the change that's coming in, putting you on this new path. So here's the hope, the guidance coming in. And don't forget cancer. The number seven is in regards to your crown chakra, your direct connection with the divine, calling upon your higher self, connecting with spirit, just getting that guidance direction. So the star is a huge indication that transformation is at hand. So very nice. Now let's take a look at your crystal for the week. And actually, two cards actually came out. They actually came flying out face down. So I included them both. So first, we have a fluorite. And let me grab... Okay, here's the fluorite. And this is dealing with your third eye chakra, your spirit guides. And then we also have selenite. And let me, hold on. Okay. And here we have selenite. Okay. So first we have fluorite, dealing with your third eye chakra. Um, fluorite's letting you know that you're protected by your guides. It helps you to enhance your intuition, your third eye chakra, so you're able to trust in your intuition and the direction that it's leading you in. And then also selenite. So good idea to meditate or just quiet your mind so that you can raise your consciousness to create some calm, peace, tranquility. That way you can kind of direct yourself to feel and attract like only positive light energy and also to visualize all negativity disappearing from your energy field. So then your mind will be peaceful and clear. So that way you can look at situations in your life with clarity. And that certainly ties into how you respond to things. Very important message here. So there we go. All right. Now I did pull a tea leaf fortune card to kind of wrap up the reading for you. And you received Beetle. And I really love what this represents. Look at what it says here, Cancer. Good fortune. Now, what you actually see here is the largest of the beetles, the Goliath beetle. And it's interesting that the markings on this beetle kind of match the cobblestone. But it's an indication good luck is coming your way. Many cards in this deck and you got beetle. Good luck. So as I picked up in the beginning, things are going to be turning around for you. Your cards are indicating there's an opportunity coming in in regards to what you're focused on here. And the wheel is going to be turning in your favor. The star card is keeping your energy optimistic, positive to help with the flow. And then your angels and guides Pick not one, but two crystals this week. The fluorite crystal for your connection to your spirit guides, your intuition, and then the selenite crystal, that direct connection with spirit, giving you a calm and tranquil place to go to when things seem to be kind of chaotic. 
And your fortune for the week, Cancer, is the beetle. Good fortune coming in. So Cancer, take notice of the opportunity, the change of energy, the good luck, the good fortune that's coming your way for the week ahead. And enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And for a private tarot card reading, the links are listed below. Love and abundance to my Cancer family.